Hello. I'm about to go to the grocery store. I have a highly extensive grocery list here. I'm about to get stuff not only for the month, but also for my upcoming Hollow's Eve gathering. The leaves, so pretty. Many pumpkins. <laughs> everything out of the grocery totes and I'm going to share with you some of the things that I picked up. First things first, I ended up getting two packs of small tortillas. I really want to achieve the jack-o'-lantern quesadilla. The smaller tortillas, I'm also going to be making the cinnamon toast crispies. Oh my goodness, I found these cookie cutters. So on Pinterest, the lady used the bat cookie cutter to make little cinnamon toast crunch chips of some sort. It was like a sopapilla, but in a bat form, basically. <laughs> so I'm trying that. I think that would be so cute. I got these plates. I think they're really nice looking. They're just very simple and pretty. They're not Halloween-y at all, but I just like them. I think they look nice. So the menu is jack-o'-lantern quesadillas for some appetizers, the cinnamon toasty crispy ghosties and bats, and then I'm making macaroni and cheese, so I got a big old thing of noodles. I picked up some apple cider because I am totally going to serve this in one of my giant spigots of some sort. I also picked up three of these Simply Lemonades. I want to do a midnight margarita because the theme for this gathering is Practical Magic, you know, the Sandra Bullock movie. <laughs> and they do midnight margaritas in the middle of the movie. I thought it would be so cute to do purple midnight margaritas. Why not? I got some chocolate donuts and that's gonna probably just be another little sweet treat. I did get a pomegranate. I thought this would look so pretty cut up and put on the charcuterie board. Pomegranates are one of my favorite fruits as well. I will be freezing this. It's just spinach dip and it's, ha it's made with sour cream, mayonnaise, spinach, chestnuts, and green onion. So I think that'll be delicious. I'll probably chop up some of the garden grown jalapeno and scatter that in there as well. But that's gonna be a part of the charcuterie. <laughs> I ended up getting a really big thing of eggs. I'm going to make deviled eggs, but on Pinterest, once again, there is this cute idea where you take red bell pepper and then you make little horns in the deviled egg and it looks like a deviled egg. It's so cute and I'm doing that, it's cute. This is something I got for myself, Fireside Vanilla Spice Tea. I picked up some of this buffalo wing sauce. Another appetizer for the party is going to be buffalo chicken roll-ups. It's chicken that's tossed in a buffalo wing sauce, but then I put it in tortillas and then cut them up where they look like little wrap rolls. I have apples, the Gala apples and Granny Smith apples. That's just what they had. I love all apples though. I got a big giant bag of caramels. 
I'm so excited. I'm gonna make caramel apples. I have to show you this one thing. I found these really cool caramel apple sticks. Oh my goodness. I just think it's gonna be so fancy. They're kind of sparkly and rhinestone. I think they'll be cute. <laughs> I ended up getting some white melting chocolate wafers. I got this, so then I can essentially do that with strawberries. I want to make them look like little ghosties. <laughs> Oranges. So this will be a part of the charcuterie board, but I also want to make some citrus garlands. I did also get a big old case of waters for the gathering. I went to the Dollar Tree to pick up some last minute things. I got some s'mores chocolate, some pong balls, I kind of really like that idea of turning them into ice cubes. I got these little plastic spiders. There's also bats on them, which is so cute. I love that element. I was looking for black spiders, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to paint the spiders and then disperse them around the tablescape and also scatter them on this cake that I want to have as a little bit of a centerpiece sweet, if you will. I found this really nice paint and it's a metallic gold color. It's really nice. It's called pure gold or <laughs> whatever that means. Anyways, I think this would be really cute to paint all of these little plastic Halloween pieces and just use them as decor. I got some inexpensive batteries just for any of the twinkle lights and some of the LED lights that I'll have. And then I got more creepy cloth, <laughs> except I got it in this tan color. As soon as I put up that black creepy cloth, I have a newfound love for creepy cloth. So this is probably gonna go on the bookshelf, might go on the table, it might go on the wall for a photo booth setup. Maybe it'll go into this kitchen, I don't know. Either way, I just thought that would look fun. And if I don't use it this year, then I'll save it for next year, but um, the creepy cloth goes fast in this town. Also, Ring-a-dang-ding. -ding. I got a white Zinfandel. It's really cheap wine, honestly. It, and anybody that is a wine aficionado would probably not suggest this brand. However, I'm not discriminatory at this moment in time. I just wanted a little something, you know? I actually didn't even see what the percentage of alcohol in this is. 10.5%. That is a lot, to be honest. Hey, that's not... That's not bad. So I'm gonna have a glass of wine, enjoy this, and start making some dinner because I am so ready to eat. One last thing. I got a little thing of mini pumpkins. I thought these would be so cute to decorate the tablescape with. If not that, then also to decorate the charcuterie board. Those are some tough pumpkins. I've decided that I'm going to air fry some chicken and I'm boiling some water for noodles. I'm gonna make a uh, pasta. I'm feeling that. I need some carbs in my life. <laughs> Look how darling these little pumpkins are. What is it about miniature things that make us go wild? Go cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs for miniature pumpkins. I love pumpkins. Look how cute it is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Have sauce brewing. I just picked some basil out of the garden so I can toss that in the tomato sauce. I'm still on my first glass of wine. So it's vlogtober. Here we are and I'm loving every bit of it. There's this really cool candy dispenser box that I saw on Pinterest and I'm thinking that that's what I want to do. My neighbors already started putting out their decorations and they go all out every year. For me it's like the neighbors got the good candy, you know what I'm saying? But this year I wanna do something fun. I wanna be, I wanna participate, you know? I'm feeling the spirits. 
do you have a favorite trick-or-treat candy? I like lollipops. I'm content with lollipops. I like bubble gum. I love uh, sour candies as well. I did shred up some chicken. I love a trunch bowl, okay? There she goes. You can tell, even from here. You can tell the neighbors go off with the Halloween decorations. They do a different setup every single year. So this year they decided to do the skeletons on the front lawn. Two of the skeletons are like chilling on lawn chairs and in the graveyard. It's really cool and creative. Maybe I can get a little snippet of what it looks like, but I just thought I'd show you the twinkle lights because the neighbors go off every holiday and I love it.